Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. <clears throat> this is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling about you, their next actions, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid. The roles can be reversed and only take what resonates and leave the rest. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If the title drew you in, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay. Spirit, how does this person feel about Aries? How does this person feel about Aries? Okay. <clears throat> we got the Eight of Wands, the Tower, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, a little bit of fire here. Aries, Leo, Sag, or Earth, um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person wants to message you, Aries. They want to talk to you about something. Um, but I also feel like they know if they do or when they do talk to you about this, it's going to cause like a huge shift. A huge tower moment so for instance like if you're just friends with this person and they tell you they have feelings for you there's kind of like no going back from that now you know right like they want to move out of the friend zone if this person's like with someone else there is this three of pentacles here so i'm gonna see what that's about if there's someone else if there's you know um a third party involved in some way like they're with someone but have feelings for you that's going to cause a huge tower moment here and you know the tower is a necessary change from the universe. I feel like it's like it's it's getting out of your comfort zone that you've been in for way too long. That's how I see the tower. You could work with this person, Aries, with that Three of Pentacles because the Three of Pentacles is all about teamwork. Um, each person playing their their specific role and it, it all contributing to um, whatever it might be. So you could be on a team with this person in some way, work with them, or like maybe a sports team or something like that. I am seeing the fool taking a leap of faith, more Aries energy here. Let's clarify a little bit here. What is this three of pentacles about, Spirit? For how this person feels about Aries? What is this? Thank you. So we did get the queen of wands here. Tell me more. The four of pentacles. Tell me more. And you could definitely work with this person here, Aries. Um, I feel like this person holds back here, but they find you very like charming, sexy. I think they, they think you have like your shit together basically. Like you walk in a room and everyone turns and looks, Aries. Um, but this person's been holding back. It's weird, but they enjoy like working with you, whatever that means. Even if it's like online virtually, if you work from home, this person like can't wait to log on to like Zoom or whatever and like see your face. Um, and I feel like they want to message you about, well, I'm going to pull some cards, but I feel like they want to tell you how they feel about you. They find you very attractive. They, they think you're very, yeah, charismatic. They just, they like, they're very physically attracted to you. I will say that. <clears throat> but with that eight of pentacles, yeah, you could definitely work with this person. But they've been holding back. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Let's see, what is this Eight of Wands about? Because the Eight of Wands is like fast communication, a lot of messages coming in, passionate communication. And there's that Fool card. Yeah, like they want to take a leap of faith. And the Nine of Cups came out. They want to take a leap of faith towards you here, Aries. They want to talk about like, like again, if this is a friend, they're going to talk about moving out of the friend zone. Like, I like you, Aries. I, I, I want more than just friends from you. Um, that's like the heavy vibe I'm getting there. You're like their wish fulfillment here with that nine of cups, a little bit of water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I am seeing the hanged man. Like they're, maybe they're just waiting for the right time here. Like this is how they feel. They feel like they want to message you. They want to take a leap of faith here with that fool card, more Aries energy. They, they want to talk about how you are just like everything to them. Like they just, they, 
the thing about the three of pentacles too is it's about teamwork here but there is one person kind of like up higher on on that little bench there and the other two people are kind of like adoring them i feel like this person like looks up to you aries you're kind of like on a pedestal they put you on this pedestal a little bit and it was just like you're really good at what you do i think you're also you're very physically attractive they find you very physically attractive um you just you carry yourself really well the way you dress the way you smell if you work with this person <laughs> Yeah, they want to talk about taking a leap of faith here. Moving forward in some way. You are like you're like their dream guy or their dream girl. Dream woman, dream man, whatever. Wow. Okay, well let's see their next moves. What moves will because this is their this is how they feel. Like they want to do this. I also think they know it's gonna cause this like tower moment here. What is this tower about? What is this tower about? I feel like it's like moving from out of the friend zone. That's what I'm feeling. Or like if you work, if you work together, judgment. This could be someone from your past wanting a second chance here. And I'm seeing the star too, healing, hopeful that this could come together. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This could be someone from your past here, Aries. Maybe it didn't work out before, but they want to work on it now with like the pentacles are very practical matters. So it could be someone from work, but like they're trying to be a, a good team player now, so to speak. Like maybe they held back before or maybe they threw themselves into work before, um, but they want a second chance here with that judgment card. They're weighing up the situation. They're looking at it differently. They want you to do the same, Aries. Yeah, this is definitely someone who wants a chance with you. And judgment is second chances. So this could be someone from your past. Again, maybe you dealt with in a romantic way before. Or maybe you worked with them a long time ago and just like kept in touch or something like that. Take it how it resonates. We're going to see what comes out. But yeah, they're hopeful. They're very hopeful that this can be, that this time it can work, I'm hearing. They're willing to put in the work. They're willing to work together to make this work. And you were like their wish fulfillment. So let's see, what actions will this person take towards Aries in the immediate future? There's the star. They want to heal this. They're hopeful. The star is all about. I feel like they see you as the as their star. Like they're you're like, you know. You know what, like they say, like the North Star or whatever, You, if you're lost at night, you look for that and you go towards that. I feel like you're like, that's what you are for this person. Like they always, they, they always find themselves coming back to you, Aries. And I was like kind of corny, but it's true. That's what I'm feeling. Sometimes the way I'm trying to describe what I'm feeling, like, anyway. Yeah, they're hopeful for this. And I'm seeing the four wands at the bottom here. Like, this is like halfway to marriage card. They're hopeful. They want to heal this. If this is someone from your past wanting a second chance, whatever happened before, they they want to work on this. They want to put the, the effort in here. Tell me more about this person's actions towards Aries in the immediate future. The Ten of Cups, Aries, oh, I just got chills. Look at this. You are their wish fulfillment. You are their wish fulfillment. They want to heal this. They want to fix this. They want to move towards this happiness with you. Ten of Cups is unconditional love. It's like, you know, you just understand each other. You get to understand each other. You want to know each other. You, you know, sit down and have those tough conversations if needed, but like you get through them. Like this person wants to do all that with you. Have a family if that's what you want. Have children if that's what you want. Get a house if that's what you want. Live by a river if that's what you want. I don't know, it looks different for everybody, right? This person wants to move towards this with you. And they're gonna, they're like, fast communication here passionate communication like they're gonna really like if this person held back before with that four pentacles i feel like they're not doing that anymore they're like no they're taking this leap of faith they want to heal this here with you aries they want this second chance or another chance or i don't know like it's like like i said if, it, if it's a work situation they're like they want to move out of the friend zone if it's someone you dealt with romantically before they uh they want to do it right this time or 
Tell me more. Tell me more about the person's actions towards Aries. Tell me more, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, so we got the Hermit, the Two of Pentacles, and the Empress. You could be dealing with the Virgo here. I feel like, okay, this person, first of all, they see you as the Empress. It's not male or female. It's just the feminine energy of like, I always describe the Empress as like Mother Earth. Like we can't go without, right? Or like Tefiti from Moana. That's one of my probably, no, Moana and Soul actually are like up there for my favorite Disney movies. Anyway, we can't like, the Empress is all about abundance, life itself, right? You could eventually have children with this person, whether you give birth or they give birth, depending on your relationship, right? This could be someone you've already had children with and they want the second chance. Take it how it resonates. But what I'm feeling is this person goes back and forth between saying nothing with this hermit card versus coming forward and letting you know your worth, letting you know how much they actually like really value you. That's what I was getting with like the three of pentacles. Like they put you on this pedestal and the empress card here is just confirming that like they, they, they see you as like the be all end all like within the tarot. <clears throat> There's a, there's a queen and a king for every single suit, right? Every single, the wands, the swords, the pentacles, and the cups. But the empress and the emperor, the masculine, the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy are, are like the majors of that. It's like beyond the queens, beyond the kings, right? Like the empress is like, like mother earth. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Like, it's like, we all need her. We all, you know, and again, it's not male or female, but it's just like, that's how they view you. They're like, I can't, that's what I was feeling with the star too. Like they always just come back to you, Aries. Like you are their guiding star. Like they, this is how they view you, the Empress here. But they do, they are juggling. Like their, their, um, their actions are going back and forth between being the hermit and not saying anything. Cause I feel like they know when they come forward, it's going to cause this tower moment whether this is like an ex from years ago and they know this will like cause like a big thing, you know, if you haven't talked in a long time or you work together or something, take it how it resonates, but they go back and forth between not saying anything and like coming forward and letting you know how much, like how much they value you. Yeah, but they want this with you, Aries. Like the energy I'm feeling is like very, like genuine, like this person genuinely wants this with you. But let's see their intention. That's why I like to do the intentions too, because you know, sometimes people will act a certain way, <clears throat> but in their mind, they're thinking something else. That's why I like to do those too. But anyway, okay, let's do that. <coughs> my throat is like, do you hear that? Like my throat is starting to get weird. Like, like I can't, I feel like this person has trouble saying what they need to say to you because there's no communication cards on here. There's the eight of wands, like that passionate communication coming in <clears throat> for how they feel about you, but their actions, there's, there's not actually like messages. There's no swords here talking. And I feel like this person's throat chakra could be blocked. I'm hoping you, you guys can hear this, right? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. This person's not saying what they need to say. They're not saying what they need to say. Um, well, let's see what what's their intentions what's this person's intentions with aries and then we're going to see the potential outcome too what's this person's intentions with aries we got the wheel of fortune and the seven pentacles okay so you started off with the tower there you start off with a big tower moment but then the wheel of fortune comes in a lucky turn of events like i feel like if this person just does decide to move forward and say what they need to say to you, it's going to result in this new change, this new cycle here. This is their intention to invest in this with that seven of pentacles, to put in the work, like I was saying, the eight of pentacles is here, the seven of pentacles is here, like putting in the actual work that needs to be done. I'm seeing the death card at the bottom, transformation. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like this person wants this change with you. That's their intention is to put in whatever they need to put into this in order for it to work. Tell me more about this person's actions towards Aries. Thank you for the messages so far. Okay, now we got the Seven of Swords. What is this about? Because, you know, this is like, this is sneaky. This is calculated behavior. What is this? Then you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> this person thinks about this a lot. Like, they're up at night thinking about this. 
They are. I feel like, hold on, with this King of Pentacles, hold on. What is this Seven of Swords about? Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Especially if you work with this person, I feel like this person has to like be very careful what they say to you and how they say it to you. Maybe like HR is going to get involved or something like that. I don't know. Um, okay. Is this person already in an established connection with someone else or are you Aries? Because it, with this seven of swords, like I feel like there's like this aspect of having to be sneaky, having to be sneaky about something. Maybe like, you know, um, Maybe that's why they're not coming forward as well, because one of you or both of you is in an established connection somewhere else. Like they, they kind of have to, um, and listen, like I'm not advocating for anything. I'm just reading the energy, right? Like if this person is with someone else or you are, but they know how they feel about you, they have to like only send you messages at certain times or only hang out with you at certain times. Or like if they see you at work, like only talk to you at work or like something like that. I feel like they're trying to sneak away from this though. They're trying to get away from whatever that established connection is, it, whether it's with someone else or not. It could just be like a family business or like work itself with that King of Pentacles. <clears throat> Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they gotta take it slow. They gotta take it, this is the slowest moving energy in the deck. They have to take this slow and like be careful about it. And again, that could be because you have something going on, Aries, they know this, they wanna like, I'm not getting a malicious vibe here. Like I'm not getting like a, oh, I'm trying to like have, you know, three people at once or something like that and like not tell any of them about it. I'm getting like, if say for instance, Aries, you're the one in a connection, they're like, okay, I wanna be respectful of that, but I also can't deny how I feel or vice versa. Something like that. But yeah, I feel like this person has to be careful and they have to take it slow with you. But they think about this a lot. Like whatever situation that is already going on, whether it's on your end or theirs, like they're up at night thinking about this. Hmm. Let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome between Aries and this person? Eight of Cups. Okay, tell me more. Is this walking away from, from the other thing? Or I feel like it could be because now we have the, um, the Ace of Cups here. All those fell, I'm not gonna take those. I feel like there's, there's this, someone needs to walk away from something, whether it's them or you, Aries, and then this new cup of love can be offered. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. Tell me about this this eight of cups tell me about the eight of cups like i wouldn't be surprised if like the ten of pentacles comes out because like they're walking away from like something that was already established or something the five of swords and the page of wands something that they were curious about before something that just isn't working out something that has been sabotaged already tell me more about the eight of cups tell me more about the eight of cups please spare thank you for the messages so far thank you the Seven of Cups, confusion. Maybe someone they were with had, had their options open, like they were someone's option. Or maybe you, you're with someone, Aries, who treats you as an option or has options. Someone needs to walk away or both of you need to walk away from a situation. And then I feel like this Ace of Cups can come in, this, this outpouring of love. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Coming in with that cup of love. Like the, now we're now we're seeing the the love come. I mean, it was kind of already here, but yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. You could you could really be dealing with anything here. That like there's everything on the board, but there's heavy Aries, heavy Aquarius, Virgo. Um. Yeah. I feel like something needs to be walked away from, whether it's a job that's holding them back or a relationship or you, Aries, like take it how it resonates. And then this cup of love can come on in like this night. And the, and the Knight of Cups is all about like going on dates, like dinners, Netflix and chill. I don't know, walks by the water, walks in the park, um, picnics, like that cute, like going to movies, like those, like that's like, it's like date night every night. Like when you're getting to know someone, you know what I mean? Like that's what this person wants to move into with you. 
Yeah, the Four of Cups. They feel like it's gonna be a, a missed opportunity if they, if they don't. Or you could feel this, Aries. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups, Spirit. The Two of Cups. Look at all these cups coming out. It's like love, 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 love. Yeah. This person will feel like this is a missed opportunity if they don't walk away or, or whatever. Someone doesn't walk away from a situation. They feel like this deep, uh, the Two of Cups for me is like the, is like a soulmate connection. It's someone you, it's just easy with. They feel familiar. They feel, they feel at, you feel at ease with them. It's just like, there, there's no like awkward silence moments. There's no like awkward getting to know each other stage. It just like clicks. And it's because your souls already know each other. I feel like the two of you can come together and you, and the potential outcome is that you will. There's just this aspect of needing to walk away from something else first. Something that's no longer serving them. Either them or you or both. Something that emotionally is no longer serving them. Because Eight of Cups, like Cups are all about emotion, right? But they know it's going to cause this tower moment. But they can't deny how they feel about you. Anything else for the potential outcome spirit? Could be dealing with the Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Okay, they're saying no. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries here? I know you flipped. There's something better. Okay. So that's what I mean, like walking away from whatever's no longer serving you, whether it's you, Aries, or them, or both of you. There's something better, and I feel like it's the two of you coming together here. <laughs> yes. Spirit's so funny. Thank you, Spirit. I feel like I didn't even really shuffle. I just picked up the deck. And then as I finished that sentence, they're like, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Okay, any other messages for Aries? Compromise. So whether this person's leaving a situation that causes a tower moment or you are, or you both are, I feel like, yeah, there's this need for compromising, understanding each other's needs, like understanding that that was a big moment or whatever. And like, you guys will come together, it looks like in the potential outcome. There's this union here. There's a lot of love here, but maybe like understanding that situation as well, an opportunity. And look at like all those, I don't know if it's gold, gold coin just like gold i don't know i just feel like abundance is just like coming on in for you aries just like flowing to you okay let's see spare any messages for aries here thank you you are good enough mm -hmm. beautiful thank you you're very close to achieving your goal and it's time to take action. That's, you know, the new moon in your energy there, Aries. I feel like that's that eight of wands energy really sticking out for me right now. Taking the, making the move. Cause something's no longer serving someone. Something has become like, I'm even hearing like emotionally draining, whether it's a job or, oh, soulmates. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, Aries. This is what I was saying. Oh my goodness. Oh my, I have the biggest smile on my face right now. Oh my, I obviously I'm reading this from the book. Oh my God. Okay, so 41, you could be seeing fours or ones, but when you reduce it, four plus one is five. Five is all about changes, overcoming obstacles. So this tower moment, whatever's going on here. Oh my goodness. I love this soulmates card. I can't remember the last time it came out either. Oh my gosh, okay. Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. Consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. Ah, oh, beautiful Aries. 
This makes me so happy when this type of energy comes out. I'm just like, yes, Aries, you deserve it. You deserve this love. You just, oh my gosh, I'm just, this is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Um, okay. Do we even need another card? I guess let's, let's go from here and let's just see. Spare any messages for, oh, I love this soulmate card so much. The little penguins are so cute. Um, cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Yeah, I feel like this is like, like, this is going to cause a tower moment, a big shift. But like with the wheel of fortune, it's like in your favor. It's like, it's like, this is going to break you open. Soulmates like change you forever for the better. Right? And like the card said, like maybe the, maybe it's not like forever. Like you don't end up with this person forever. That's not the energy I'm getting. But take it how it resonates, right? But like either way, this person was meant to come into your life for a reason and like crack you open, so to speak, and like change you for the better. But you know, there are two penguins here and penguins meet for life. Oh, I can't remember the last time this card has come out, Aries. Like not just on, on my YouTube channel, but like I, when I do readings like outside of that for friends and stuff. So beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's get you some of these. Okay, Aries, we got C, S, J, D, number eight, and number seven is stuck to it too. So Aries, I hope something here resonated with you. I'm just, this is just beautiful energy. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so, so much for all your beautiful energy. I'm so, so grateful. Love and light.